Hello brothers, welcome to a new Bible study. Today we will study 2 Timothy 4 verse 19. Greet Priscilla and Aquila and the household of Onesiphorus. In this verse, Paul begins a four verse conclusion to his final New Testament letter which mostly extends personal greetings and provides closing comments. The esteem Paul holds for those mentioned in this verse provides us insight into his close affection for them. The first two Paul extends greetings to are Priscilla, also called Prisca, and her husband Achilla, a Christian missionary couple Paul first met in Corinth. They were Jews from Rome who had fled to that city after Emperor Claudius ordered the Jews to flee, as recorded in Acts 18 verse 1 and 2. Working alongside them as tent makers for more than a year and a half, Paul, Priscilla and Aquila left to minister at several locations along the route of Antioch. Acts 18 verse 24 to 28 tells us Priscilla and Aquila mentored Apollos in Ephesus and 1 Corinthians 16 19 mentions they led a house church in Ephesus around Anno Domini 53 to 54. Romans 16 3 tells us they were in Rome when the letter to the Romans was written around Anno Domini 55 and this letter tells us they were back in Ephesus around Anno Domini 64 to 67. And then the other one that he is mentioning. The household of Onesiphorus included all those in his home, including his family and servants. Remember, this is the same Onesiphorus who painstakingly sought Paul out as a recorded in 2 Timothy 1 verse 16 and most likely delivered this letter to Timothy. As we saw in 2 Timothy 1 verse 16, Paul asked that God would extend mercy to Onesiphorus entire household, as his family had to make some tough sacrifices to fund the journey to Rome and provide Paul with comfort and support. Paul would not forget their sacrifice and loyalty, especially in those tough times Christians were facing for their faith. Brothers, some of the last words penned by the Apostle Paul recognize those that silently went about their work at great cost to themselves. Their heart was for serving Christ, and it's likely that none expected such recognition. But Paul's personal greetings underlined exactly what he thought of them and their sacrifice. What seemed like an afterthought or postscript in his last letter would end up trumpeting for the ages their quiet and sacrificial service in the name of Christ. May we, too, draw strength knowing that our work for God's kingdom touches others profoundly in ways that we may never know this side of heaven. And may we also encourage others in their unassuming and humble service for the kingdom. May God bless us all.